Let's dive a little bit deeper into this filter pool and see what we can come up with. Last thing we looked at was attributes. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's change to my main folder. That's got the 17,000 images in it. I'm going to press the backslash key to get up my library filters if you don't see them. If I click attribute, it will always remember the last thing I did. So it is showing me all of the images that have two or more stars. It'll always do that. It always remembers the last thing. But for now we're done with attributes. Let's look at text. So I'm going to click this button right here. Now I want you to ignore the fact that attributes are still up. That's actually a really good thing when you think about it. But let's pretend we don't see that. And we go in here and we say, okay, I do a lot of shooting out at the zoo and I've shot a lot of lions and I know without a shadow of a doubt that I have keyworded images for lions. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click and type in L-I-O-N. You don't have to worry about the fact that it's upper or lower case and it says no photos match the filter and I'm going no no <laughs> I'm not crazy I know I've done this. So what's wrong? Well you still have this open and what it's saying is all images that have the word lion and have two stars. So that's actually a pretty powerful thing. But if you don't know it's open, that's frustrating because you think you can get to these images and you can't. Turn this off by clicking here. And there they are. Now there are a lot of other things that we can do here. Well, for example, we're currently searching for the word lion, but if you look here, we're looking in any searchable field. That's keywords, file names, anything. If it sees the word lion, it's going to pull it out for us. And that's actually, I suppose, not a bad thing. But if we click this button right here, we can narrow that down. You could say file name. I don't rename my files. I've got too many. I let the camera do that. I use this stuff to help me out. But maybe I've got a file name I'm looking for. I could say, okay, file name, caption, keywords, whatever you want. It's all here. We can say, does it contain all the word lion, or maybe it doesn't contain. Now, in my case, I've got 17,179 images. If I say doesn't contain, it's going to give me every image but these, but that gives you control. And one more thing. I have more keywords assigned to lion, like maybe male, female, standing, sitting. I've got one called sleeping. Now, let's say there are a lot more images here than what you see. And I'm looking for the lion, but not only the lion, but the lion that's sleeping. So I'm going to press comma and type in sleeping. And there you go. Let me go ahead and loop that with the letter E. And we have a sleeping lion. Always let sleeping lions alone. Never wake them. The whole thing involves knowing exactly what you need. And using text, as you can see, is a very, very powerful tool in Lightroom. On to the next.